Hello, Vinyl Community. I'm back with you to do another Tales of the Dead Wax, and this time I am covering Mastering Maestros, Stephen Hoffman, and Kevin Gray. I have to talk the pair together because they have a intertwined history. Um, so they were working together at MCA Records uh, in the 80s. I think that is where their paths likely crossed for the first time. Uh, I don't know for sure, but I do know that they both worked for MCA in the 80s. Uh, but in the late 90s, when uh, RTI, uh, Don McInnes, and Chad Kasem from Acoustic uh, decided to uh, put together a team and you know develop acoustic mastering, uh, their two go-to guys were Kevin Gray and Steve Hoffman, and so they built up a mastering studio uh, on the RTI grounds. And uh, just to show you some examples of the dead wax, so the first album I'm going to show you uh, was a Riverside reissue. This is Cannonball Adderley with Bill Evans. So, um, uh, Analog Productions and Acoustic, they did a whole series of Riverside stuff. Um, this was some of the, the first jazz uh, pieces that they uh, put out along with some je uh, prestige titles and contemporary. Uh, but as you can see here in the photo that I'm showing you, uh, you are seeing KPG and SH for Steve Hoffman, of course, at ATM, and ATM stands for Acoustic Mastering. So Kevin Gray, in particular, will always have an at uh, whatever mastering facility where he's at. Uh, to show you some other examples, so Acoustic and uh, RTI uh, were out seeking other clients, and one of the premier reissuing labels at the time was Cisco Records. Uh, they acquired the rights to Steely Dan's Asia and if you've looked online this is one of the the go-to versions of Asia. Um, I really happen to like it. Cisco was a very small audiophile company. Uh, it is now reincarnated into the label Impex. Uh, but this, just to show you the dead wax, you're going to see KPG and uh, SH, Steve Hoffman, at ATM. One of the best known titles uh, from these two uh, to come out of acoustic uh, was Fleetwood Max Rumors. Um, this was not done by a particular reissue label. Uh, this was actually put out by uh, Reprise or Reprise through Warner Brothers. This is 45 RPM. Uh, this is another one. Um, I haven't looked online to see if this is still available. And my intention is just to get people's attention to these things. And if you can find it, grab it. Uh, I typically do not go back in time to or go back on Discogs to see what they're going for. But if you can find this version and you like this album, uh, don't hesitate. Uh, this is uh, just a sonic masterpiece. And again, uh, they got a little bit creative in the Dead Wax here. Uh, you're seeing Mr. Record and Dr. Groove, so uh, they must have had a hell of a time reworking this title. Now, around 2010, 2011, Acoustic disbanded uh, I think Chad Kasem and Don McInnes, they kind of had a falling out. Now, Kevin Gray, he went off. He did his own mastering studio called Coherent. And, you know, Kevin Gray is probably the go-to guy for audiophile mastering today. I mean, a lot of people know Bernie Grumman. A lot of people use him. Bernie Grumman also does a lot of uh, regular stuff. Now, Kevin Gray, I'd say 90-95% of his, his work nowadays is reissues, and typically it's audiophile reissues. Now, Steve Hoffman has been doing some work for this company. He hasn't been doing so much vinyl 
uh, but he has been doing super audio CDs and this is for audio fidelity uh, there is a wonderful video on the making of this uh, this is a must-have Vangelis record uh, this was pressed at uh, quality record pressing of course and done by Kevin Gray um, and they did it on red vinyl of course uh, I do highly recommend this one now if you look in the dead wax there is a uh, MZ and that is someone that I think is under the apprenticeship of Kevin Gray now and I've seen MZ and it's Momsil Zanev uh, he has been paired up on Kevin Gray's uh, take on kind of blue he was also doing uh, Miles Davis Steeman so I've seen his initials on several titles so I think he's under Kevin Gray's tutelage and uh, hopefully uh, Kevin Gray's mastery will rub off on the man another reissuer pretty recent uh, Kevin Gray has been working with is Intervention uh, Records and uh, Kevin Gray did Everclear uh, this is Sparkle and Fade. Uh, Intervention Records has done two uh, Everclear records. So, you know, if the tapes are on the West Coast, uh, they've been going to Kevin Gray. If it's on the East Coast, they've been going to Ryan K. Smith at Sterling Labs. And uh, uh, this is probably the best way I've ever heard this album. Uh, this is my favorite Everclear album. Now, most people know Everclear from their popular radio friendly side uh, this is more in the vein of punk and it's very aggressive so uh, if you're not into Everclear you find them too poppy give this one a shot because this is uh, you know this is just a masterpiece and then you know once they had a radio friendly hit they just really changed their sound so just to show you another example this is the Miles Davis Quintet. This is the Analog Productions reissue Relaxin' with the Miles Davis Quintet. Now, I think Kevin Gray has been kind of studying Rudy Van Gelder. Of course, you know, he's touched a lot of Rudy Van Gelder's tapes now. And he has a Kevin Gray stamp, just like Rudy Van Gelder did. And so a lot of the newer pressings that he's done, he also stamps it Kevin Gray. Another example of another reissuer. This reissuer, I'm not... The, the vinyl has been good. The packaging, not so great. So, this is the worst of Jefferson Airplane, which I just love. Uh, but look at the graphics. Um, Friday Music is the one that did this. And Friday Music... <sighs> They can't get the original artwork, and this was kind of gold embossed. Uh, the original was, and unfortunately, I, I didn't pull my original out. Um, it's like, come on, guys, you, you can do a better job. But the vinyl, it's done by Kevin Gray. You know, sometimes the KPG uh, will get mushed, and it looks like a KM sometimes. And even he said that it's it's looked a little bit mushed. Uh, but uh, yeah, so I'm going to show you one more example. Uh, Music Matters, they dropped their titles for the month. Of course, you can see Lee Morgan's Candy right here, which is fantastic. Uh, they also put out Hank Mobley, um, and I just love Hank Mobley. He, uh, he's one of my favorite tenors for sure. He was forgotten in the 80s, and he gets overlooked by people like John Coltrane, for example. Uh, but, yeah, just, you know, standard Music Matters quality. Uh, if you can pick it up, if you're a fan of jazz, uh, again, grab these. These are just phenomenal. Again, here is the Dead Wax. You got KPG at CA for co Coherent Audio, and plus RR, which is Ron Rombach, which again is one of the Music Matters owners. So uh, that's Kevin Gray for you. If you see Kevin Gray as the mastering engineer, 
it's gonna sound great. Uh, yeah, I know it's all subjective, but you know, the stuff that I have listened to that he has done has just been spectacular. I don't think the man can do he can't do any evil. So uh, I have some links of an interview he did with Bernie Grunman that uh, kind of Michael Fremer. Uh, sponsored at a audiophile fest so check out the links down below and you know do you have any comments what do you think of Kevin Gray uh, shoot me a comment down below and thank you for watching